So, what are we up to right now? We're packing Elsie. We are packing her up and getting her ready for, not her maiden voyage, that was uh, us driving across Australia, but our maiden voyage after all the messing around we've been doing. So before we give Elsie a bit of a wash, we are going to go do um, a track in the So here we are at Tomb Valley Tire Service. Very exciting day. As you can see, I've got the cruiser behind me. So we're getting some new rims on. So welcome to vlog number one of Elsie. Now that we have Got her back to Tumant, she's all painted, all done. We're still waiting on a roof rack to come and new leaves for suspension, hopefully. And tyres. Oh yeah, and tyres. We've got rims, oh, but no tyres. Yeah, so yeah still waiting so on trying to sort the suspension out. Long story, don't worry about it, but anyway, we're getting more leaves put in, just to yeah. help with the weight. Yeah, so today we're just gonna go for a quick drive around or towards Wee Jasper, which is... So just in between Tumant and Canberra, yeah. so in the Brindabellas. And yeah, apparently it's a nice drive, so we're just gonna go for a little a little cruise and see what we can do. <laughs> Have fun. just the bush in general it's yeah beautiful mm. so i think now we're going to go back to chimit yeah, we'll go back to chimit but so nice to finally take this car just for a drive i'm like yeah. now having to be somewhere like you know and just after all the stuff we've been doing to it so and she's going great yeah so it's it's so it's just fun to drive you know <laughs> on these kind of roads these yeah. kind of sunday style drives even though it's a saturday i mean a friday, friday. <laughs> Yeah, we're back to Chimit. Maybe we have pizza at the brewery. Sounds good to me. What a cute little school. Yeah, quite possibly the cutest school in existence. <laughs> Hello everyone, Matt from Overland Travellers coming to you from a rainy Chumit. Nice and dark, so apologies for the uh, not so ideal filming conditions, but we'll crack on anyway because we need to get this installed. Today, we're installing the ARB twin air compressor. 
in uh, the Troopy. This is the built-in unit, not the portable unit. Just saves a bit of space with storage, uh, a bit more compact. Our last air compressor that we had actually packed it in after about seven months of light use. So it was a bit disappointing because it wasn't a bad, uh, bad brand. It was a decent quality one. So anyway, we've, we've gone the whole hog now. We've got the twin air compressor from ARB. I've heard the output of these things is ridiculous. As uh, Andrew St. Pierre White has said from 4 by Overland, these are complete and utter overkill, and that's why I have one. So keen to give it a go. The unit we've got here doesn't have the four litre tank that can be added later on. So we're gonna have proper compressed air, run air tools, that kind of thing. Uh, and then also this is good for air lockers, ARB air lockers, anything like that. So that's something we wanna do down the track. But for now, we'll just get this air compressor in, wire it up and uh, mount it in the troopy. So we've got the box here. I've taken the air compressor out and first thing that you immediately notice about it is the weight. This thing is heavy. Feels like it's a serious piece of equipment, which it is. Um, the reason it's got such a high output is it's actually, it's a twin air compressor, so there's, there's literally two providing you there. So it's, um, yeah, it's a serious unit. Uh, we're gonna be doing a pretty, uh, I'm gonna call it a light install. No sort of drilling holes through the car or anything like that. I'm just gonna put it into our um, sort of our toolbox section behind Holly's front seat. So I'm just gonna be bolting it into the wood and then I'm gonna be hooking it up to our AGM battery, which is just very close to the air compressor. So it's all pretty neat install. As so I'm doing a light install because uh, in the future, we're probably gonna to want to install uh, air lockers, that kind of thing. So being able to easily just take it out and uh, install it properly with air lockers and everything like that. Uh, is something to think about in the future. So but this will be good for now and we'll get going. Immediately in the box, the wires do look a bit scary, but honestly, it's once you sort of break it down, it's pretty easy. This is just the power cable, pretty simple. Got the, it's got the fuses and everything in there, so you don't have to worry about that. This is plugged straight in. You just wire this up to your batteries. So I'm just gonna need to crimp these lugs on, drip it, a bit of heat shrink, a bit of solder in there, just to make sure it's all nice and uh, secure and neat. And got these battery terminals just to put onto our AGM battery. Easy, We've got the switch here. That's from ARB as well. All this here, this is the bit more of a scary part. You sort of look at this and go, oh no. But um, most of this I actually don't need. I'm gonna keep it obviously for the future, as I said, um, with the air lockers and everything like that. So we've got this terminal here, which plugs into the air compressor. And then these cable adapters here um, are for the solenoids uh, for the air lockers. So I don't need that. Uh, and then this here is for the switches. So you've got switch one, switch two. I don't need that there to run front and rear lockers. I just need the isolation switch just to turn the air compressor on and off. So I don't need to worry about. And then there's all your ignition, dimmer lights. You've got your LED inside the switches. So I'm not even gonna wire any of that up. It's just gonna be a very basic install, pretty much power on and off, and then that's it. But I said, I'll keep all this for the future. So yeah, we can um, get a good install of those air lockers and air tank and everything like that in the future. All right, this is either Troopy here. Um, now, I've just got to figure out where I'm going to install this switch. So I reckon if I just have it here, this is my battery box. the switch in uh, according to the wire, wiring diagram. I've got my batch terminals in because I was running out of space on the other terminals to screw them in nicely. Yeah, I'm just gonna wire it up now and then we can plug it in. We can put it back in, plug it in and see if it runs. And then I can screw it all in and button it all up. Yeah, we wanna make sure it's going before we screw it all together. All right. This 
need to get other side of the troopy back in that has the compressor on it. I can plug it in and we'll just see if it works. All right, so what should happen is I plug it in and it works <laughs> when I turn the switch on. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, hello everyone. A um, few technical difficulties last night. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, he's my brother and his brand new Triton. Really nice ute, new Tritons. So yeah, a few technical difficulties last night. Uh, as you would have seen, it wasn't working. <laughs> so uh, I had a good look this morning and I figured it out. Uh, there was two wires that I presumed I didn't need to wire in. I thought they were just literally running, uh, well, one was running the diode to the light inside the switch. Uh, that was one, and there was another one that said ignition, and I, I just presumed it was something to do with actually like, like attaching to like accessories and ignition of the car, so you can't turn air lockers on when the ignition's. Anyway, I don't know why I thought that, and uh, but it turns out it, it is necessary to complete the circuit for the switch. So once I wired all that up, it ran fine. So that's uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So pretty happy. So I'm just going to sort of put it all together now, button it all up, and then screw it all back together, and yeah, should be good to go. Exciting. Really keen to see how quick this thing can work, eh? Pump up some 33s. Because in the past, like, it has taken ages. I like, remember when we were with Brad Holly. Yeah. We had, you know, Land Cruiser and our ute to do eight tyres and took a long time. It's like 25, mm -hmm. probably 25 minutes, maybe more. So, yeah, keen to have some good power. What's going on? We're getting ready to go. Again. We've got to get back into vlog mode. We are, yeah. It's been yeah, a long time. Has been. So we are in Tumut. We are just about to leave and go to Parachuna again. Just stopped for a quick coffee in Hay. All right, we've just had a rest stop outside Broken Hill now. It's only like five minutes out. I woke up, got out of the car, I was like looking around. This guy just standing there. He's like, sup? And I'm like, hey. <laughs> and he's like, Love you, Troopy. And then, what does he have? 